If you love waffles but hate how they get soggy after a few minutes, here are some tips to keep them crispy and warm. First, preheat your waffle iron according to the manufacturer's instructions. Next, spray the hot iron with non-stick cooking spray before adding the batter. Cook the waffles for the recommended time. Then remove them to a wire rack set over a baking sheet. Finally, place the baking sheet in a preheated oven, 200 minus 300 degrees Fahrenheit, for 5 to 10 minutes to crisp up the outsides of the waffles. How do you keep waffles crispy for a party? If you're looking to keep your waffles crispy for a party, there are a few things you can do. First, make sure to cook them in a lower setting. This will help to prevent them from getting too dark or burned. Second, don't overcrowd the pan. Cook them in batches so that each waffle has plenty of space to crisp up. Finally, serve them immediately. If they sit for too long, they'll start to soften and lose their crunch. How do you keep waffles warm and crispy without an oven? There are a few ways to keep waffles warm and crispy without an oven. One way is to place them on a wire rack over a baking sheet. Another way is to place them in a single layer on a plate covered with foil. You can also put them in a preheated 200 to 300 degree oven for a few minutes to crisp them up. Can you cook waffles ahead of time? There's nothing quite like waking up to the smell of freshly made waffles. But if you're not a morning person, or if you simply want to save time, you might be wondering if it's possible to cook waffles ahead of time. The short answer is yes. You can cook waffles ahead of time. There are a few different methods for doing so. And we'll go over them all below. One simple way to make ahead waffles is by cooking them in batches and freezing the extras. This is a great option if you have a busy schedule or don't want to deal with making breakfast on weekday mornings. To freeze waffles, simply place them on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and pop them in the freezer. Once they're frozen solid, Transfer them to an airtight container or zipped top bag and store them in the freezer for up to three months. When you're ready to eat, there are two easy ways to reheat frozen waffles, in the microwave or in the oven. For both methods, start by thawing the waffle briefly so it's no longer frozen solid, otherwise it will be difficult to break apart. Then, Either place the waffle on a plate and microwave for 30 to 60 seconds until warmed through or place it on a baking sheet and heat in a 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 5 to 10 minutes until crisp and hot. Serve with your favorite toppings, syrup, butter, fruit, etc. Another method for making ahead waffles is by preparing the batter in advance and storing it in the fridge until you're ready to cook. This is a good option if you want fresh tasting waffles but don't necessarily need them to be piping hot when you sit down to eat breakfast. Simply mix together all of your ingredients as directed, flour, milk, eggs, sugar, baking powder, soda, then cover tightly and store in the fridge overnight, or for up to one week. When you're ready to make your pancakes or French toast, the next morning simply take out your desired amount of batter. Prepare as usual. And enjoy. If neither of these methods sounds appealing, you could also try cooking your pancakes or French toast completely and then freezing them. How do you reheat waffles so they're crispy? If you're looking to reheat waffles so they're crispy, there are a few things you can do. First, make sure your waffles are completely cooled before attempting to reheat them. If they're still warm, they'll steam and become soggy. Once they're cool, 
you can either place them back in the toaster or heat them up in the oven. To reheat in the oven. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and place the waffles on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Bake for about 5 to 7 minutes or until crisp. You can also try using an air fryer set to 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 3 to 5 minutes. If you don't have access to an oven or air fryer, you can try reheating in a skillet over medium heat. Place the waffle in the skillet and cook for 1 to 2 minutes per side or until crisp. Be sure not to overcrowd the pan and work in batches if necessary. How to keep waffles crispy overnight. Are you a waffle lover? Do you love to enjoy a delicious and crispy waffle for breakfast? But find that by the time you make it to work or school, your waffle is no longer as fresh as when you first made it. If so, then this guide is for you. Here are some tips on how to keep your waffles crispy overnight. Place your waffles in an airtight container. This will help to keep them from getting soggy from the moisture in the air. If possible, place a paper towel or similar material in the bottom of the container before placing your waffles inside. This will help absorb any excess moisture and keep your waffles crisp. Another option is to place your waffles in a resealable baggie before putting them into an airtight container. This can also help prevent sogginess. When reheating your waffles, be sure to use a low heat setting on your oven or toaster oven so that they don't get overcooked and become crunchy instead of crispy as you want them. How to keep waffles warm for a buffet. Assuming you're talking about keeping pre-made waffles warm for a buffet line, the best way to keep waffles warm for a buffet is to place them on a wire rack set over a baking sheet. Put the baking sheet in a low oven, 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, until you're ready to serve. You can also make your own warming drawer by placing a heating element, an inverted light bulb, electric tea light, etc. in the bottom of an insulated cooler or picnic basket. Place the wire rack on top of the heating element and cover it with a towel. Preheat the element for 10 minutes before adding the waffles. How to keep waffles warm for school lunch. If you're sending waffles in your child's lunch, there are a few things you can do to keep them warm until lunchtime. First, wrap the waffles in foil or wax paper. This will help hold in the heat. You can also put the waffles in a thermos or insulated container. If you do this, make sure to put a little bit of water in the bottom of the container before adding the waffles. This will create steam and help keep the waffles warm. Finally, you can microwave the waffles for a few seconds before putting them in the lunch box. Just be careful not to overcook them.